Mr. Mark Golding, Member of Parliament and Leader of the Opposition. Honorable Olivia Grange, OJ, CD, MP, Minister of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport. Senator, the Honorable Thomas Tavares Finson, OJ, CD, KC, JP, President of the Senate. The Most Honorable Mrs. Michael Manley, widow or former Prime Minister. The Most Honorable Michael Manley. Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Mr. Joseph Manley, son of former Prime Minister Michael Manley and Mrs. Della Manley. Mr. Noah Levy, grandson. Dr. Angela Brown Burke, MP, Chairman of the People's National Party, members of the Senate, members of the House of Representatives, permanent secretaries, Commander Judy O'Neill, representing Rear Admiral Antoinette Weems Gorman, the Chief of Defense Staff, Senior Superintendent of Police, Mr. Michael Bailey, representing Major General Anthony Anderson, the Commissioner of Police. Councillor Venetia Phillips, representing His Worship, the Mayor of Kingston and St. Andrew, Senator Delroy Williams. Mr. Dexroy Martin, Deputy General Secretary of the People's National Party. Dr. Dayton Campbell, Sen General Secretary, People's National Party. Mr. Granville Valentine, General Secretary, National Workers' Union, NWU. Ms. Elizabeth Smith, representing Mrs. Marjorie Layden Curtin, the Acting Executive Director, Management and Staff of the JCDC. Students, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. And welcome to the floral tribute in honor of Jamaica's fourth and late former Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Michael Norman Manley, O-N-O-M-O-C-C, commemorating the 90th anniversary of his birth. Mr. Manley impacted the nation with a great sense of importance and urgency. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we pay tribute to him. We begin with the opening hymn, Great is Thy Faithfulness, led by La Musication. I invite you to be upstanding for the singing of the hymn.
Ladies and gentlemen, Reverend Father Craig Mears of the St. Matthew's Anglican Church will now deliver the opening prayer. We continue in prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose works are wondrous, whose hand is mighty, and faithfulness ever constant, we thank you for this day which you have made. And we are gathered this morning to give you thanks for the gift of life, the bestowing of gifts, the, sh the sh sharing of talents, and the willingness and obedience to answer your call to serve and to put service above self. We thank you for those who have served in the past and have answered that faithful call to serve a nation. Today we acknowledge your guiding hand in calling, transforming, and equipping your son Michael for public life, a public life of service. By his life and sacrifices, we have been shaped. By his service, our society has been transformed and impacted. By his legacy, grounded in you and what's best for community, we now continue the journey to build and grow. We thank you, Father, for his family who stood beside him, his colleagues who have rallied around him, and for all others who have shared in the vision that he so well communicated. And now, Father, we ask your blessing upon our proceedings, reflecting the appreciation, thankfulness to you, and our hopes for the future. Through Jesus Christ, our mediator, we make our intercessions. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Father Craig Mears. Ladies and gentlemen, playing tribute in music entitled Fade Away is one of Jamaica's extraordinary female vocalists. Please welcome Mrs. Della Manley. He who seeks of only vanity with all love for humanity shall fade away, fade away. He who checks for only wealth and not for his physical health shall fade away, fade away. The rich is getting richer every day And the little that the poor man has It shall be taken away Do you hear what I say? Hear what I say? The man who worships silver and gold Shall surely 
Surely lose his own soul And fade away The one who's always acting smart Forgetting to carry love in his heart Shall fade away God is here and there and everywhere And it knows when you play the game unfair So people know where You fade away You gotta fade, gotta fade, gotta fade, gotta fade, gotta fade Fade away You gotta fade, gotta fade, gotta fade, gotta fade, gotta fade Fade away You gotta fade, gotta fade, gotta fade, gotta fade, gotta fade Fade away Thank you so much. And ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Della Manley is accompanied by Mr. Eddie Houseworth. <clears throat> to deliver her remarks, please welcome the Honorable Olivia Grange, member of the Order of Jamaica, Commander of Distinction, Member of Parliament, and Minister of Culture, Gender, Entertainment, and Sport. Thank you, Reverend Craig Mears, for prayers. And another big round of applause for Della Manley. I know you're tired coming from out of town, but I'm happy you made it. Honorable Delroy Chuck, Minister of Justice, representing the most honorable Andrew Holness, Prime Minister, who is off the island. Mr. Mark Golding, Leader of the Opposition. I'm going to ask you to hold the applause to the end of my acknowledgments. <laughs> I will cue you when you should applaud, okay? <laughs> We're here this morning as one family. Senator Tom Tavares, uh, Thomas Tavares Finson, President of the Senate. The Most Honorable Mrs. Michael Manley, widow of former Prime Minister Michael Manley. <laughs> Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Angela, please control your um, <laughs> supporters. <laughs> Mr. Joseph Manley, son of former Prime Minister Michael Manley. And Mrs. Della Manley. And Mr. Noah Levy, grandson. Dr. Angela Brownberg, Chairman of the People's National Party. <laughs> Members of the Senate, Senator Donna Scott Motley, Yay! Senator Janice Allen, Senator Sophia Fraser Bins, Commander Judy Neal, Judy Ann Neal, representing the Chief of Defense Staff, Senior Superintendent of Police, Mr. Michael Bailey, representing the Commissioner of Police, Councillor Venetia Phillips, representing His Worship the Mayor. Kingston and Sa Mayor of Kingston and St. Andrew, Mr. Dexroy Martin, Deputy General Secretary, representing Dr. Dayton Campbell, Mr. Granville Valentine, General Secretary, National Workers Union, students of the Hemingway Prep School, St. James, Danoon Park Technical High, and St. Andrew Primary, and also of the Louise Bennett Covilly Primary. Members of the media, supporters of the People's National Party. <laughs> Other well wishers and friends. <laughs> Today, <laughs> and I really specially want to acknowledge members of the diplomatic corps or out in numbers. 
Thank you so much for coming. So today, December 10, 2022, we mark the 98th anniversary of the birth of former Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Michael Norman Manley, with the laying of floral tributes here at National Heroes Park. So we traditionally um, have floral tributes on the anniversary of the birth of our national heroes or on special commemorative dates of the national heroes of whom we do not know their birthdays. And there's a big difference between a floral tribute and a wreath laying ceremony. Wreath laying ceremony is um, a recognizing or paying tribute on the anniversary of the death, of the passing. But when we do floral tributes, we are celebrating the person's life and celebrating their birthdays. So this was done traditionally only for the national heroes. And I decided that we should recognize our prime ministers. Our prime ministers who have passed, who have served this country. And as a result, on the anniversary of the birth of all our prime ministers who have passed, we have a floral tribute. And we ensure that the party of which they were part of, that the general secretary and the chairman or chair of those parties are part of the ceremony. Clap me for that. I deserve a clap, of course. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start with this quote. A republic is a form of government in which a state is ruled solely by representatives of the citizens of that country. Those words did not come from Michael Manley himself, but he surely believed in them. In 1975, the government established a commission into constitutional reform, which recommended that Jamaica become a republic. Here we are again with our current prime minister, the most honorable Andrew Holness, declaring that Jamaica has to become a republic. So Michael Manley was a visionary. He was at the forefront of those who called for Caribbean integration resulting in the formation of the Caribbean community, earning him the designation as one of the architects of CARICOM. Against much opposition, Mr. Manley also strengthened ties with countries such as Cuba, the People's Republic of China, Venezuela, and Russia. That clearly has moved from being, that relationship has clearly moved from being the political taboo it was at that time to mutual beneficial normal relations between Jamaica and those countries today. A quote from Michael Manley says, where political sovereignty has been conceded, but economic power remains untouched, equality remains a myth, social justice proves unattainable, and even freedom becomes an ambiguous phenomenon. That's a quote from Michael Manley. So from his days as a trade union, Mr. Manley had vision of groundbreaking improvements in the lot of the poorer classes of Jamaicans. He gave reality to that vision when as prime minister, he introduced economic reforms such as the minimum wage law, compulsory recognition of labor unions, Maternity Leave for Women, the Children's Act Bastard Act, which granted equal status to children born to unwed as well as married parents. The Jamaica Movement for the Advancement of Literacy, Jamal, and the basic school development programs were other initiatives of government, which by then had adopted the ideology to democratic socialism. So as I continue, I have another quote from Michael Manley. He says, the state must become the servant of the people, not the master, and must be the enabler 
of the facilitator. So before leaving office, Mr. Manley made major adjustments to some of his policies in response to the insistence of calls of the day, which to many indicated his genuine care and concern for the people. He listened. Again, he quoted, democracy means, I quote from Michael Manley, democracy means far more than the right to vote every five years. It means the right to participate in every aspect of national and community life. The people must believe that they can take part. Another clear example of Michael Manley's foresight was when he put labor into Labor Day, which has taken hold to the extent that no, we could not imagine Labor Day without working at our national Labor Day projects and the work we put in otherwise in our communities on Labor Day. In fact, during COVID, when we said, stay at home and work, people still came out and put work into Labor Day in their communities and at the national level. So when you go out on Labor Day, you will remember Michael Manley. Another Michael Manley quote, in a plural world, it is a right to self-determination and not its outcome, which is in, in an inalienable right of every man. And it is wherever the absolute right to self-determination is denied that peace is most at risk. So I've quoted from Michael Manley, and there are so many other things that I could say and I could repeat from his words, from things that came out of his mouth that today we can experience and we can give him credit for. But I know that I've been advised by the leader of the opposition that he has to leave here by a certain time for a very important occasion. And we all know what that is. And so I will close by saying that today, once again, as we celebrate the anniversary of the birth of the most honorable Michael Manley, Jamaica's fourth prime minister, who we remember fondly as Joshua, and to whom we owe much of the progress that the modern Jamaica has made. May God continue to bless Jamaica land we love and bless his family. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Minister Grange. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to that section of this morning's program where we will begin the floral tributes while the floral tributes are being laid, patriotic music will be played. Individually, I now invite the tribute layers. I now invite the Honorable Delroy Chuck, King's Council, Member of Parliament and Minister of Justice, representing the Prime Minister of Jamaica. Member of Parliament and Leader of the Opposition.
Councillor Venetia Phillips representing His Worship, the Mayor of Kingston. Dr. Angela Brown Burke, Member of Parliament and Chairman of the People's National Party. Mr. Noah Levy, grandson of the most honorable Michael Mack. Martin, Deputy General Secretary of the PNP, representing Dr. Dayton Campbell, General Secretary of the People's National Party.
Mr. Granville Valentine, Commander of Distinction, Justice of the Peace, and General Secretary of the National Workers Union, NWU. Thank you all. Ladies and gentlemen, with our melodic sound, here again is Mrs. Della Manley, paying tribute to music entitled Ashes on the Windowsill. And she's accompanied by Mr. Eddie Hosworth. This song is the first song I ever wrote. And I, I, when you spoke, I thought, I wonder if I'd have finished it if Michael wasn't there saying, finish the song, finish the song, Della, because it was just one verse for about two years. So. Come cloud, now swallow my sun. Try not to rain on me Steel gray Doesn't go with blue anymore Or is it something you can't see? Ashes on the windowsill This generation's uncomfortably still Eagles landed and I heard the scream And it wasn't a dream It wasn't a dream Full moon go one bite of the sky Send away the clouds with a water, feel that pain. Too many lives are at bay. Or is it something you can't see? Ashes on the windowsill. This generation's uncomfortably still. Eagles landed and I heard the scream And it wasn't a dream It wasn't a dream Ashes on the windowsill This generation's uncomfortably still The eagles landed and I heard the scream And it wasn't a dream It wasn't a dream Go on the light of the sky Send away the clouds We don't want to feel that pain Too many lives are at play Or 
Cause it's something you can see Ashes on the windowsill This generation's uncomfortably still The eagles landed and I heard the scream And it wasn't a dream It wasn't a dream. It wasn't a dream. Thank you so much. Ashes on the windowsill. Della Manley. Mrs. Della Manley, accompanied by Mr. Eddie Hosworth. Another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. May I invite you all to stand as we observe a moment of silence. You may be seated. The most honorable Michael Norman Manley, O-N, O-M, O-C-C, served this great enterprise called Jamaica with distinction. As a journalist, trade unionist, president of the People's National Party, senator, cabinet minister, leader of the opposition and Jamaica's fourth prime minister. And I could go on and on. This event was quite fitting to pay tribute to this great man. And so to all our tribute layers this morning, all our performers, the military band, Reverend Father Craig Mears, the Jamaica military, I should say, members of the Jamaica Defense Force, JDF, and the Jamaica Constabulary Force, the team from the Office of the Prime Minister, the Chancery and Protocol Division, the Protocol Department of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, Medicare Ambulance Services, the Creative Production and Trading Center, CPTC, members of staff from the National Heritage Trust, members of staff from the National Heroes Park, members of the media, Bloom on Bell, florists, and all other supporting members. On behalf of the Ministry of Culture, gender, entertainment, and sport, and the production team of the Jamaica Cultural Development Commission, JCDC, I thank you all for joining us this morning in this celebration, commemorating the 90th anniversary of his birth of the most honorable Norman, Michael Norman Manley, O-N-O-M-O-C-C, or late former prime minister here at the National Heroes Park. Thank you for your support and cooperation in making this event possible. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to invite uh, members of the La Musication to lead us in the singing of the national anthem. Please stand.
Education, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for being here this morning. I'm Adrian Atkinson. Good morning. Or is it something you can see? Ashes on the windows.